rivers, once considered sacred, shielding and nurturing countless generations of Indian people, have now turned hostile, transforming into fierce torrents that devastated every riverside city. As if a message from God, each rising wave sweeps away ancient temples, towering symbols of a spiritual culture revered since time immemorial. This disaster has not only claimed the lives of hundreds, but also displaced tens of thousands from their homes. Are these events a reenactment of the ancient flood myth, a perpetual cycle of nature's renewal, or merely the consequences of neglect in protecting our environment? The answer will be in the video's conclusion, but first, please hit like and leave a comment so we can delve deeper into this complex issue together. In early October 2023, a cloudburst caused Sikkim to receive more than double the usual amount of rainfall. From October 3rd to 4th alone, the state experienced rainfall five times the normal level. This event led to the southern glacial lake of Lanok breaching its banks, reducing its surface area by over 100 hectares overnight. This resulted in a massive amount of water rushing down to the Tistad 3 Dam in Chongtang, and as you can imagine, the outcome was catastrophic. The flood quickly destroyed the dam and bridges, leading to the 1,200-watt hydroelectric plant, which was completely submerged. The water level downstream of the Tista River then rose suddenly by 6 meters, submerging districts in southern Sikkim and western Bengal. Fifteen bridges across the state were swept away, and the north of the state, including the capital of Gangtok, was cut off from the rest of India when a section of the National Highway 10 collapsed. 3,000 tourists were stranded across the state. Towns and cities like Shengting, Dikshu, Singtam, Ranpao, Meli, and Sista Bazaar suffered the most severe damage. The heavy rain continued for several days afterward, making the situation even worse. Rainwater combined with the melting ice created massive flows, destroying and submerging many ancient temples in India. This natural disaster is described as the worst in the last 45 years, taking the lives of 97 innocent people with an additional 78 individuals across the affected region still missing. <laughs> Worse still, the ground, saturated with water, caused the surface structures of the soil to separate and landslides became inevitable. From mountain homes to riverside villas, all shared the same fate. A family was buried under rubble after a landslide at a famous resort by the River Ganges. With only one girl miraculously saved, the rest of the family, five people, went to be with the Lord forever. A 
Have you ever wondered why Mother Nature always leashes her fury on us? Could it be that we have done something wrong? Throughout the history of our planet, nature has sent numerous disasters with severe consequences. Interestingly, many of these events have notable coincidences across various aspects. Some argue that these coincidences are not random and were even predicted in the book of Revelation, a work that originated about 2,000 years ago. The descriptions in the book of Revelation, when compared to the events we are witnessing, seem to signal a bleak end for the world. Some people believe these are warnings of an approaching apocalypse. I invite you to join this discussion. If you agree with the view that these events are signs of punishment and apocalypse, please leave a comment with the number one to express your agreement. Conversely, if you have a different perspective and wish to share your thoughts, do not hesitate to express them so we can discuss together and find a direction for the future of humanity. Typically, by October, India no longer experiences heavy rainfall. However, 2023 proved to be an anomaly with increased precipitation and more frequent rainfall events. Additionally, the glaciers in the Himalayas are melting faster than ever before, posing unpredictable disasters to riverside communities. So is this a result of global warming or is this a message from the higher power? Could the biblical flood have reoccurred, causing glaciers to burst and disasters in Sikkim, India? We need to consider both aspects to better understand the causes and significance of current events. Why? Modern meteorologists often explain extreme weather changes in the context of climate change, a phenomena scientifically confirmed to be influenced by industrial and human activities. But think about it, humans are gradually destroying the very planet that has sustained us for millions of years. This mistake is undeniable. The New Testament in the Bible mentions that in the letter of the Galatians, Do not deceive, God cannot be mocked, a man reaps what he sows. This ethical principle, where every action has a corresponding consequence, can be applied to reflect on the responsibility and consequences of environmental protection. Therefore, if we do not want the Day of Judgment to become a reality, we must act with respect for the Earth. I believe that if each of us makes a small effort, this Earth can have peace and vitality it truly deserves. Please leave your discussion comments below the video comment section. Thank you very much for your keen interest, follow-up and enthusiastic support. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. For now, we say goodbye and look forward to seeing you in our next videos. Wishing everyone a warm day with your family.